Come on, honeys. Hi, honey. Come on. You don't like corn, Lola. Why are you eating all that corn? You don't like that. You're only eating that because they eat it, honey. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to Lola's farm. This is probably one of my favorite things to start our day. Our little baby goats have been doing work. We just moved them over here. And look how much grass they've eaten. In one month, they've cleared out all this space. Yeah. And this is right where our house is gonna go. So they're getting it all ready for us while we sit on our butts and do nothing on it. And they're loving it. So we are officially moving on from the left side and now coming on to the right side. Right here is where all of our tools are gonna go. But I promise you this time we're not gonna build it as deep as that cabinet. I see all your guys' comments, I think that's gonna fall down. And this one should only come off the wall by a foot. Gonna be able to reach. Bro, can you get a measurement there? On the blue line? 102.2. Yeah. Right. And then we're gonna have a shelf like this, a shelf like this, and the bottom. So the design of this is going to be really, really simple. We just need to build four boxes just like this. Oh, yeah. Good. Hey, we are just so much better at building with metal than wood. I know. <laughs> While Jord's finishing up the framing, I just ground down all the welds on this one and I'm just gonna give it one coat of paint. We are gonna eventually have to grind off some of the paint spots um, when we weld it all together, but for now, I just wanna get as much of it painted and protected as soon as I can. Take a bite. No, I gotta wash them. No, 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 I wanna wash it. Big one. Honey, you already look pregnant. Lovey, this is just lunch. <laughs> this is strictly just lunch. <laughs> May, you want, you want to tell the people how you've been feeling these last few days? Last few days have been pretty rough. Today, actually, I feel better than the last couple days. But yeah. the last two days, I was like, I felt like I was dying. I just like wanted to puke all day long. I didn't puke, thankfully. I'm just like totally burnt out. I'm missing my welding partner today. I know. Alberta sneezes. <laughs> You ready for your nose? What is this? Is your vitamin. Voyage. Oh, What's this? What is that? Oh, boy. Nummies. <laughs> Nummies. So there's going to be a total of three shelves on here, so we're just measuring exactly where we're going to be welding in the second shelf. Oh yeah, it's pushing it into place, love. That's good. Check your side. A little over 10. It's like 10 and a quarter. Oh, 
Uh, I might have needed to grind. How are, are you sitting on a weld there? Um, yeah, but I can get it in. Yeah, it's this weld that I'm talking This is bringing us back to last year right now. We came to check out all the coffee plants that are around us. We have cows as neighbors and coffee plants as neighbors. <laughs> and it's almost harvest season. You guys can see how red all this coffee fruit is right now. It almost looks like a, um, I always say it looks like one of those holly plants around Christmas time. And we're super excited. If you guys know, we have a coffee business and we've been sourcing all these different coffees for this harvest. And we're super excited about it. So we're kind of having a little bit, bit of deja vu from this other side when we installed this huge wooden cabinet. So the boys are gonna give it a try, hopefully get this thing up, hold it up while Jordan gets some really nice strong tack welds in to hold it into place and then completely weld it into place. Hey, you ever I look like the worst, like I'm doing anything. Okay, we're gonna spin this way, yeah. Uh... Oh boy, let's see. It. Dip it up. You guys got it? You're gonna wanna put one hand up there. Bro, what, uh, do you wanna put- Cockin' it, you come in here. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Better. Okay. Yeah. Looks awesome. All right, you guys, we got the first grate. Do you call this a grate? I was calling it a grate. It looks like a grate to me. A grate, right? Yeah, it looks like a barbecue. It looks freaking, this grate looks great. <laughs> huh. So we got the first one in. What we're gonna do is probably just tack weld it in, right? Uh-huh. And then, honestly, I don't know if we need to paint it. I think it looks kind of cool having the silver exposed. You gonna so, weld it now? Let's get them all in first, and then we'll weld. Okay. Looks awesome. Beautiful! The last and final piece of grate. And then there's no more excuses for it not to be spotless in here. <laughs> so we have so much storage. Oh look, oh no, pregnant woman on a ladder. Watch out. <laughs> oh, there we go. Good. Perfect! So good, honey. I love it. Nice. The very last thing, well, the second to last thing that we need to do is just knock off the edge of all this metal mesh. It's sharp as a razor. And I've already cut my shirt and my pants a couple times, just brushing up against this. So I just need to grind this real quick. And then we just gotta paint it. It's time, baby. It is time, you guys. <laughs> we are finally clearing this place out a little bit more than it, than it. Honey, it should be perfect in here after this, so. I hope so. <laughs> oh no, pregnant woman holding some blades. You can't be doing that, honey. <laughs> lifting it above my head, about 10 pounds. That's about 10 pounds over the weight I should be lifting. <laughs> you should be in bed. Stay pounds, we just stay pounds. This is crazy. This all came in. So fast. It was so hot and like so within humid. 10 minutes. This fog rolled in. And here comes Have the rain. We've been asking for rain. We desperately need rain right now. Our water tanks are getting pretty empty, mostly because we were doing dishes with a garden hose for a month and it drained our tanks so fast. And we've been praying for some rain to help our tanks out, and this sounds like a downpour is coming. You might need to be scared, honey. <laughs> <laughs> It is downpouring. I made a bit. I made a big boo boo. We're gonna figure it out. We just put this in, and I wasn't thinking about the wood stove. The wood stove exhaust needs to go right up there. 
This, the event for this is coming in tomorrow. The exhaust race is coming in tomorrow. We'll have to figure something out. We'll figure it out. Whether we need to bring it over to the left or just take this whole thing down, you know, start over. <laughs> uh, well, it looks great. But it's kind of just put in like a damper on the whole day. Yeah, I was We're already just like. We're gonna figure it out. I don't know, I was just already sit back and like enjoy the all the progress that we made. <laughs> Kaylee and I are both having a hard morning because this was bothering me all night and Kaylee's pregnant. What does that have anything to do with it? If you're having a hard morning because you're pregnant. Oh yeah, I'm I thought you were having a hard morning because I'm Well, <laughs> my, my hard morning isn't as uh, justified as yours is. Yeah. It's mostly just because I'm a baby. <laughs> I'm not going to fix this today. I'm going to leave this for like a week or two. We got some other stuff we got to do. We actually have a pallet coming today with a ton of stuff. So we have to import stuff from the United States and today our toilet is coming. If you guys don't know, Kaylee and I, let me just show you what our toilets look like. So you gotta walk into the jungle here and these are all of our coffee plants. And anytime we need to go to the bathroom, this is what we do. <laughs> Whether it's in the rain, in the wind, when it's cold outside, when it's two in the morning, when it's eight at night and it's dark, you don't need to look inside, but this has been our toilet. Just a couple of things and you just squat and that's been it. And today should be the last time that we use this because I want to get that bathroom functioning. I want to get that toilet going today. It's 49. Our plan for the bathroom is pretty simple. I'm going to put the second piece of plywood down and then what we're going to do is just put a laminate flooring over the top and then for the walls we're going to have to put some cement board up because we want to do tile. I know you might be thinking why are you going to tile a bathroom in a workshop. First of all we want it to look nice but also we want to learn. A lot of this workshop has just been about learning. Learning how to cut metal, learning how to weld, learning how to do everything and now we want to learn how to tile. So we figured that the bathroom is the perfect place to do that. It is so, so humid here. So what I need to do is just make sure that this plywood never gets wet and I'm really worried about the humidity. So I'm putting some marine paint on the plywood and basically just gonna turn it into a boat to protect it against any water. Yeah. Honey. What? Woo it's our poopa. It's our poopa. <laughs> Cause we're not gonna go, we're gonna go to the bathroom outside, you know, unless it's number two. Number one outside. Well, in the middle of the night, if I get to go pee, I'm gonna pee. Uh, then you're gonna clean out the pee. The I'll clean out the pee. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be a bunch of construction, but they just put a toilet in a box. All right. So all you fellow van lifers, I'm sure you guys have seen this toilet before, but this is like the all-time famous nature's head toilet. And we've and never had one. We've never had one, and we always talked about like, do we want to get one for the bus? Like while we were traveling, we just couldn't get ourselves to invest in the money for it then. But now we have our our temporary house we were like now's the time so what this is is it basically separates the liquids and the solids and then there's a little thing and you open it and you go to the bathroom and then you close it up and it seals off all the poopy stuff and the biggest thing about it too i think um that really you know makes it worth the money is you can't get over the cost that it's a thousand dollar toilet can it's you? just crazy <laughs> it's just uh, it, that's crazy to me but anyway there's a vent on uh the side here that basically has a fan that's constantly circulating um, the compost down there so that it never smells. Pretty excited. Pretty excited. Can't you tell? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, she told me. There's been many times where we've installed something when something's not done and this bathroom isn't done we want a toilet so we're going to put the toilet in before we do the walls and the toilet needs to be able to come out to dump it out anyway so we're just going to keep it in here so we can have a toilet to sit on <laughs> so i'm pretty sure everyone who's going to be living up here is going to be doing a compost toilet i know cocky is i'm pretty sure these guys are and uh the big reason why we want to do it is to save water yeah. because every time i think every time you flush a toilet it's a gallon of water mm -hmm. it's and if we can save a gallon of water 
Every time. Every time. And let me tell you, Kaylee goes to the bathroom a bunch, so. That's not true. <laughs> okay, now I am. Now I am. What does that happen? the same clean, and I didn't cut, so. Yeah, I don't know what to grab. Well, this is just gonna be for tonight. We're just gonna run a cable in so we can use it. This is part of actually living here. It's just, we wanna use the upgrade now, not tomorrow once we can run the wire. So this is just how it's gonna be. The most common thing that people fill their compost toilets with is peat moss or coconut husk. We haven't been able to find any of those. All we've been able to find is wood chips. So we're gonna go with wood chips for now. All right, two quick updates. Number one, you can probably hear a generator running in the background. We're running really low on electricity. We've been running power tools so much these last couple days, we've drained our battery. So now we kind of need to make up for it by running the generator, juicing them back up. Second thing we got going on is we have to put the goats away. And it's been becoming harder and harder to get them to get back into their little house. So now, this is like every animal's weakness. Peanut butter. I think that's every human's weakness too. <laughs> Let me show them the nut butter, honey. Oh, oh, what is that? Look at this. Look at, oh boy. Oh, honey, it's working. Yay, Oh, there's all, no, stop them. There's all solar panels in there. So part of our shipment today was also these five 330 watt solar panels. This is such a huge upgrade. So because we live in Panama, when we get shipments, we try to really maximize everything. I also need to give a shout out to our good friend Shane. Shane got all this stuff together in Florida. We had it all shipped to his address and then he put, on it, put it on a pallet and got it down here to us. And he snuck on some nail guns and an air compressor and a bunch of other stuff. So Shane. You're incredible, you're such a good friend, thank you. <laughs> you know Blakey. Well you guys, this is where we're gonna say goodnight. Uh -huh. Kaylee's already passed out right now, I'm waking her up. But, we love you guys so much. Thanks so much for following along. Love I'm pretty, you. I'm pretty sure I have toothpaste all over my face because I brushed, just brushed my teeth, but I'm going to bed now. See you next time.